excuse me there. Have you come to see a new Storm Striker SX9 plays game? Hello, folks. I am Storm Striker SX9 here with a new Storm Striker SX9 plays. The next game I'll be playing is called Death Spank. This is this is going to be a game that's going to have some common comedic humor in it. Wonder if you guys remember this game, playing the demo of it back in the day on the PS3 or the Xbox 360. Well, let's go. As usual, I'll be playing this game casually with game overs and deaths included. Obviously, we need subtitles. Let's start a new game. This game uses the autosave feature. When you see the autosave message flash icon, that means that the game is autosaving. During this process, please do not turn off your system to prevent game data corruption. Ah, and there's a difficulty setting. Downtrodden, Vanquisher, and Heroic. Obviously, we're going to go on easy, because why not? You want to be good? You slide that over. You want to be evil? You slide that further. Or, how about we have both? View combat damage. Always show item names. I'm going to put the evil in the middle. This is a true story. <laughs> right. The world almost ended once. It is a story I need to tell before I grow too old to remember. It is a story of a man, some called a curse, and others called a hero. But a man they all called Death Spank. Foretold of his destiny to possess a powerful artifact only known as the Artifact. Death Spank dedicated his life to becoming a hero to the downtrodden, a vanquisher of evil, and a dispenser of justice. To becoming a hero worthy of the power of the artifact. To becoming the hero of his destiny. I'll begin my tale at the doorstep of the demon witch Miss Haven stands. Led there by a guide too smart to go any further. Death Spank clutches in his hand the final clue in a life's journey paved in blood and steel and bacon. A journey that will finally lead him to the artifact. Or so he was told. So, there you have it. There's the intro. Let's go. And yes, you can have up to... You can play this with co-op if you want to with other players on console or PC. All the laughs we are going to get from this game. Make sure you do this incredibly exciting, non-specific thing. Do it often, citizen. If I am slain in combat, I will automatically resurrect at the scented outhouses. 
I can even travel between outhouses by a means I don't care to explain. <laughs> Using an outhouse to uh, teleport? <laughs> Do you flush the te- Wait. Uh oh, now I get it. You flush yourself to the next area. Where the potties don't have a flusher? <laughs> Use weapons of justice, those purple weapon thingies, when the justice meter is full. Fill the meter by hitting enemies. <laughs> Not that there's anything else you can do with enemies. You can spank them. You can spank them good. Mr. Death Spank. There might be some crude humor in here as well. So beware that. <laughs> Greetings, Demon Witch Havenstens. I am Deathspank, hero to the downtrodden, vanquisher of evil, dispenser of justice, and I have come for the Artifact. No need for the introduction, Deathbank. I know who you are. Then enough with the chit chat. Give me the artifact. Nice try, Demon Witch. But you, your witchcrafts won't work on me. If you know me too so well, what's my favorite color? Hey, wait a second. You're a witch. If you know me so well, what's my favorite color? Plaid. Yeah, a lucky guess. Lots of people like plaid. Let's try something harder. What number am I thinking of? Plaid. Okay, that is just eerie. <laughs> Tell me the location of the artifact, Demon Witch. You would not believe the heroic journey that brought me here. Did you know that the path here is littered with reanimated dead? Did you know that the path here is littered with the reanimated dead? Of course. You didn't destroy them, did you? It's kind of what I do. Great. There goes my bridge knight. You would not believe the heroic journey that brought me here. Nor would I particularly care. I once faced off, fought off a legion of vicious mermaids. I once survived for a week in the desert. I defeated Alonzo the Awesome's mighty codpiece. I once danced with the devil by the pale moonlight. I once danced with the devil by the pale moonlight. Oh my, that does sound dangerous. Not really. Only if you try to lead. To his credit though, he does one hell of a lumbada. Tell me the location of the artifact demon witch. Can I entertain you with more tales of my heroic adventures? <laughs> Can I entertain you with more tales of my heroic adventures? I'd prefer if you didn't. I defeated Alonzo the Awesome's mighty codpiece. It was the final battle preventing me from discovering the location of the artifact. Was it hard? Yeah, a little towards the end. 
Can I entertain you even more with tales of my heroic adventures? Entertain is not the word I'd use. I once survived for a week in the desert. Of course, it was the pursuit of the artifact that led me deep into the dry wasteland. Oh, the heat was so intense, I did all I could to stay out of the sun. And I ended up losing most of my money. Fortunately, the waitresses kept bringing me free drinks. <laughs> that sounds like you were in Las Vegas. Yeah, which is in the middle of the harsh and unforgiving desert. <laughs> Can I entertain you with even more tales of my heroic adventures? Do you know any words besides heroic? I once fought off a legion of vicious mermaids. Chasing down the artifact led me to sail through dangerous waters infested by a mermaid army. I didn't know mermaids had armies. Well, it was more of a militia, really. And come to think of it, maybe they were just salmon. Though they were pretty sexy. Tell me the location of the artifact, Demon Witch. I hid it deep in the demon mines. I placed a powerful magic seal before the artifact. My weapons of justice will make short work of the seal. I'll never... I've never met a magic seal I couldn't open. Never underestimate the power of positive thinking. Magic seal, you fiend. Enchanting defenseless circus animals! Magic seal? Oh, you fiend! Enchanting defenseless circus animals! Not that kind of seal. I don't know why I even bother. You will never break that seal. Not without my help. But aren't you the one who magically sealed the artifact deep in the demon mines in the first place? That was just a job I was paid to do. What ungodly price must be paid to unseal the artifact? Who paid you to hide the artifact? Who paid you to hide the artifact? I don't know. Some woman, I think. I seem to remember her having red hair. Was she about five foot six and wearing a suit of armor? Was she about five foot six and wearing a suit of armor? I guess. She didn't really make much of an impression. What ungodly... Did she also have a pair of chainmail boots on? Uh -huh. Did she also have a pair of chainmail boots on? Now that you mention it, I do remember thinking that she had excellent traction. Did she speak in a mean, lecturing tone of voice? <sighs> Did she speak in a mean, lecturing tone of voice? Goes on and on. I think she said she preferred the term eloquent. Oh, great. It's her again. What ungodly price must be paid to unseal the artifact? My poor darling dragon hatchlings are being attacked by a pack of vicious chickens. I want those chickens taken care of violently. Bring me their lips as proof of their demise. Do chickens even have lips? <laughs> of course they do. How else do you expect them to whistle? Ah, good point. Oh my god. That was a good conversation. Alright, let's go fight some evil chickens. Another outhouse.
don't mind me, I'm just spanking some chickens. Is a happy time in a growing adventurous life. I can use new and exciting weapons and even get a limited edition hero card. Really? Really? Something tells me those chickens were poor, innocent chickens, and the dragons were the true bad guys. <laughs> Greetings, demon witch. I have your lips, demon witch. Well, not your lips. The lips you requested from the vicious chickens. Ah, my poor darlings will finally be able to sleep again. Now, I was going to grind your bones into a nice stew. But I actually feel a tinge of gratitude for your help. Yeah, I get that a lot. I will now help you get the artifact. But first, I need some ingredients to break the spell. I require some hair of the pixies, bright red demon imp horns, and a crystal shard from the slime pits. I don't know what you're cooking, demon witch, but it sounds delicious. I'm making a special magical crystal for you. But you'll have to venture beyond my gate to acquire the items I need. Let me open it for you. Do you guys like the game so far? Oh my gosh. Have Your you map is... Well, it's a map. You look at it and gain special awareness of your position in the world. Hope you're getting some entertainment there. <laughs> I know I Sometimes am. Sometimes head injuries can make me a little forgetful. Lucky for me, items I don't pick up find their way to these dumpsters. Haha. <laughs> I don't know how. Elves, maybe. Yeah, let's go with elves. Oh. More chickens? This is why they call me Death Stink. Those I spank my enemies! Ah, I don't have a key to open this blasted treasure chest! Greetings, heroic looking traveler. I am Deathspank. Yeah, me and the whole forest heard it when you were telling the demon witch. 
Don't fishermen usually hang out by water? Don't fishermen usually hang out by water? Well, you see, well, I was fishing down at the lake, minding me own business, when out of nowhere, a bunch of bloodthirsty creams took over the entire beach. As I ran for my life, I forgot me beloved tackle box. I'll grab your tackle box with ease, fisherman. I'll grab your tackle box with ease, fisherman. Oh, thank you, Death Spunk. Oh. Uh. Vicious beast! Greetings, character of little stature! Hi there, mister! What's the matter? Your lemonade stand not doing so well? It's not a lemonade stand! This is an official Bong the Potioneer kiosk! And I have a package that has to be delivered to Bong up at his shop in Plugmuggle! Seen as I'm a hero, I could take your package to <laughs> Bong the Potion here. <laughs> Thanks, mister. The bridge to Pluck Muckle is out, so you'll have to wait until it's repaired to make the delivery. You know, I can make a neato potion for you. But it's difficult to come by certain ingredients. If you could bring me goo drops, I could reward you with the free Killer Plant Immunity Potion. <laughs> Killer plant immunity potion? <laughs> we live in a world of comedy! In this game. <laughs> Fortune cookies are like nature's candy. Candy that tells the future? Use fortune cookies to unlock hints on how to complete quests. <laughs> Greetings, cow. <laughs> You're so wise. How does the day find you? How does the day find you? Oh. Yes, the weather is unusually warm today. Thank uh, you for your sage advice. Are you telling me that cow is trying to talk to me? Oh my god. can use the automatic targeting system, but a real hero knows how to use manual targeting for precision vanquishing. It's a teleporting outhouse. That was not a good idea. Oh, there's the tackle box. We found the tackle box. And there's no way. Oh, I did not see that. Interesting. Crossbow. Green Tracker. Arr. 
Oh, potion. Better pick that up. I got your darn tackle box. And now there's man-eating man plants attacking me. There you have it. First death. And we teleported out of the porta potty. I'm surprised he didn't say anything when uh, he died. <laughs> he could have said something funny. What do you guys think of this game so far? Does it got enough humor in it to make you laugh so hard you literally thigh slap and then nearly choke on your own laugh? Or start coughing? This game is funny. It takes me back to when I was playing it on the PS3 back in the day on the demo. I never actually owned the full game, but I played the demo. This happens to be the PC version of the game. It's, it's the trilogy. It has all three games in it. And boy, there's more laughter to come. Enemy attacks can be blocked with my mighty shield. Blocking stops all damage for a brief time, but you probably already figured that out. Have we figured it out?
Ah, I don't have a key to open this blasted treasure chest. Green Anvil. I wonder what that's for. Better get back. We don't want to go too far away because we're supposed to be looking for the flowers. I mean, we did get the tackle box. We need to give him back the tackle box. More evil chickens! Sad fisherman. Your fine tackle box is safe once again. Oppressed fisherman. Your fine tackle box is safe once again, oppressed fisherman. Oh, me beloved tackle box. Thank you, Death's Bank. What? Oh, those disgusting green stormy fishing lines. Oh, without them, I am powerless as a fisherman. I could slay more, some greens and retrieve the lures for you. I could go slay some greens and retrieve the lures for you. Oh, thank you, magnificent hero. Is there an echo in here? <laughs> Okay, there's the inventory log. Hero cards. Equipment. There you go. Ooh, a fire axe. message is also a tutorial. Wait. Oh. 
Ooh. Oh. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this game. I don't want to go too long. I mean, I enjoy the humor in this game. It's rather funny, and obviously this game is not for children, but it's still funny. Um, I mean, I played this... Back when it was on the PS3, that was back in maybe 2010, 2011. So, yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to click that like button, comment below, share with your friends, add the favorites, and click that subscribe button. And I will see y'all next time. If you enjoy this game, I will do more of this. Because this is fun.